UberMenu gives you the ability to add images to your menu items. In addition to selecting your actual image, you'll want to configure which image size should be used and at what dimensions the image should be displayed. Ideally, you would upload images which are the exact size you want to display in your menu, but in cases such as inheriting a featured image, you'll want to select a specific size. First, we'll want to configure some global defaults. Navigate to the Uber Menu control panel by going to Appearance Uber Menu. These defaults can be overridden on individual menu items. Click the Images section under the main Uber Menu configuration tab. The first setting is the image size. Uber Menu will automatically detect the image sizes available in your installation. By default, this is set to full, which means the full size image will be used. Any image sizes registered by your theme or other plugins will also appear here. The image width and image height settings define the dimensions at which the image will appear in the menu. Note that this doesn't actually create a file of these dimensions, it just scales the image within the browser. You can also tell UberMenu whether you want it to actually set the width and height attributes on the image element, as well as whether or not you want it to use the title attribute. To set an image, go to the Appearance Menus panel. Open the UberMenu menu, menu item settings by hovering over the item you'd like to add an image to and clicking the Uber button. On the left, click the Image tab. To choose your image, click the blue Select button. The WordPress Media Manager will open. You can either choose an image from your media library or upload a new image by clicking the Upload Files tab. Drag and drop your file here, or click Select Files to choose from the Finder window. Click your desired image to select it, then click the blue Select button. Your chosen image will be displayed in the Settings panel. If the item you've added to your menu is related to a post with a featured image, you can use that image in your menu automatically without having to set it manually. If you expect the image to remain static, select Assign Image on Save. This will automatically assign the post's featured image to the menu item when you save this item. If you expect the image to change or are using a dynamic post item, select the Dynamically Inherit option. The image will be looked up on each page load. By default, the image size will be inherited from your global settings set in the control panel, which is set to full size out of the box. If your image source is very large, it's important to select a smaller image for efficiency. Generally, you don't want to have gigantic images in your menu. You can select any image size you see here for this specific item if you'd like it to be different from your default settings. You can also register a custom image size just for UberMenu if you'd like. Always select the smallest image size that will work for your layout. The image dimensions determine whether the image will be scaled within the page. If you leave this set to inherit, it will inherit the global defaults from your control panel, and if you didn't set any defaults, the image will be displayed at its natural dimensions. Choose Natural to display the image at its natural dimensions. It will not be resized at all. Choose Custom if you would like to set a custom width and height for this image, which you can do below. We're going to leave this on Inherit for now. Finally, determine where you'd like the image to appear relative to your text by selecting an appropriate layout. Click the Layout tab and scroll to the Item Layout setting. By default, the item will take on the image left layout. You can choose to position the image above, below, left, or right of the text, or have an image only menu item. 
we're going to choose image above. Remember that if you choose the left or right layouts, the image must be small enough to fit beside the text or they will be pushed to the next line. You can also set the item content alignment, for example, to center the text and image. Click Save Menu Item to save your changes, then refresh the front end. Now you can see the image in the submenu with the text centered below it. Now let's make the Machu Picchu item automatically inherit its featured image, as an example. We'll go to the Image tab, and instead of selecting the image manually, we'll tell it to assign image on save. And we'll also select the image above layout and center it. Now we'll save our item and refresh the front end and you'll see that the Machu Picchu image has been automatically assigned. you also notice that if we refresh the menus page and go back to the Machu Picchu item, that the image has now been set. 